I have to say, my first thought of wearing this red shirt, which is an identical copy of the black shirt that I was wearing yesterday, I thought of myself as Master Payne from Kung Pao, when he was like, Your clothes are red! Your clothes are black! I thought I would just start the day off with that. The plan for today is for Austin and Jeremy to join me shortly, probably the next 10 minutes or so. And we're all going to ride down to the Dueling Ground, which is a card shop. It's pretty much the, the biggest card shop we have around. Unfortunately, it's like 40 minutes away. But it's worth going down there to pick up some singles and just look around and see what they have. Right now, I'm just going to wait for them to come over and then BAM! To the Dueling Ground. Right, Rocco? Rocco. Rocco. Rocco! Dueling Grounds, it's a place. We got a few singles. Um, I think everyone's pretty happy with what they got. It's gonna pretty much change their game up. Two blood tributes and a blood chief ascension. Austin got a bunch of Arbor Elves and then an Avenger Zendikon, which will and probably. Two and two And two Terastodons. <laughs> so Austin's gonna reap. I know, and I got an Elemental Appeal, a Pyromancer Ascension, and a Ball Lightning. And Austin sold his Jace. Yeah! I did, I sold my Jace for $30. In my opinion, it's going right here and getting 30 bucks as opposed to like, going through online and getting like 36 Pretty worth it. Austin bought a Fat Pack for $5. Basically, yeah. Which is pretty good. Because he got the, he got the Jace in the Fat Pack. Fat yeah. Pack cost 35 got 30 back. So, $5 pack. One of my favorite meals ever is fish. I really like fish. And fish and rice and peas, I think, is just glorious and wonderful. My most fondest memories are at the family table with everyone having chicken and rice and peas. And by chicken, I mean fish. Sorry, the only thing we have at school is chicken rice pea, and we refer to it as chicken rice pea. I just got through watching uh, the Sweet Tea video response to Day 95. It's from Tiramisuki. Her and her friend, I guess, made Sweet Tea following my uh, instructions. I actually went back and watched Day 95. I'm like, you know what? I'm really horrible at giving instructions. In fact, I did a lot of things that probably weren't, uh, weren't really the best way of doing it. In fact, my mother watched Day 95, and she said, Stephen, you did it all wrong. And I'm like, yeah, but every way brings out sweet tea. She's like, yeah, but yours took so long. You just do this and this and this. So maybe one day I'll have my mother explain how to make sweet tea, and apparently you'll shave off some time. It's incredibly entertaining to uh, to watch other people follow my, my terrible directions. <laughs> like I said, you can't really mess it up. A ton of sugar with some tea, and everything turns out all right. So if you haven't tried making it, make it. Uh, and if you're looking for a good laugh and someone else who followed my directions, then watch Tiramisuki's video, uh, video response to Day 95. I really need a haircut. Uh, I like to keep my hair a little shorter than this. There was a time in my life where I decided to let my hair grow out. It was after I got to college. I was like, you know what, I'm going to embrace this freedom and just bam, let it grow out. I soon found out my hair doesn't actually grow down. It grows out. And before long, I had a... Uh, a little afro of sorts, and uh, it was really terrible. And I was still wanted to let it grow because I was convinced that at some point in time it was going to go down. So I started wearing a hat all the time. So if you ever see pictures of me wearing a hat, they're probably from uh, 2007. That was whenever I went to college and I grew my hair out and started wearing a hat. Right now I'm going to go ahead and take that haircut. Time for a free haircut. <laughs> That's what you said the last time. How many haircuts in your lifetime have you paid for? Two? Two. <laughs> and you're 21. I'm going to be 21 on Saturday, and in my entire life I've only ever paid for two haircuts. That's pretty good. Just uh, think, if you move too far away from me, you're going to have to pay. You and Mallory both. <laughs> Just think of the savings. Don't move too think far. Think of the savings. Because she likes me to do hers too. Right? <laughs> I'm going to live in South Carolina forever so I can get free haircuts. Well, hey. You move away, things get tough. <laughs> well, you make the choice. So, what do you think? It's shorter. Better? Yes? No? 
Kind of. Kind of, but a little towards the better side. I was asked uh, the one thing I would want for my birthday, and I didn't want anything for my birthday, but the one thing I could think of more than anything else was a cheesecake. So, I got a cheesecake. And my actual birthday is on Saturday, but, well, if you've ever had cheesecake, you know that you can't eat an entire cheesecake in one day. I mean, you would die. So, we went ahead and got it today, and it's going to be a gradual cake process. Although I really like cake, way more so than pie. In fact, I actually don't like pie at all. But cheesecake is awesome. So, cheesecake is my birthday cake. I'll just, uh, I'll just pretend that there's like 21 strawberries in it. Tomorrow I gotta take care of some of that DMV stuff, and uh, me and Justin are gonna get together for a little bit. Also, one thing on Twitter I'm gonna point out before I go to bed. Alex says, uh, I like They Might Be Giants now, how could you do this to me? I think that the recent event in Atlanta really kind of fueled the fire a lot more, so... They Might Be Giants is a really awesome band, and if you haven't checked them out, uh, go to iTunes, look them up, uh, go to, like, the, the Dial-A-Song album, which is, like, the greatest hits. Click around, listen to some stuff, and uh, who knows, you might like them. And on the same note, I'm going to end the day asking, who's your favorite band? My favorites, they might be Giants, but I have a lot of other favorites. You know, Jonathan Colton is definitely up there. The Aquabats, The Weaker Thans, The Mountain Goats, Modest Mouse. I have an incredible amount of The Pillows. I am a fan of everything and everything and blah, 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 blah. But I want to hear what you guys like. So let me know, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.